So in the last video you saw how to use the cursor basically to get data from the database and uh, now I want to talk to you about a cursor adapter. So for example say you have a scenario in which you have a list view in your app in which you display a list of items. Okay? It can be a list of employee names like we saw in one of our earlier apps. Now say this list comes from the database. Okay? So the, the best approach to you know fetch the data from the database using a cursor and display it in a list item is to use a cursor adapter which acts like an adapter between the database and the list view okay so you can refer to the android documentation about you know the cursor adapter thing um, i'm going to show you how you can use it uh, it's it's pretty straightforward and you can do a lot of customization around the way you want to display data for our demonstration purpose we'll take a very simple example okay so in, in the survey app uh, I've defined a cursor adapter here and I've used a simple cursor adapter now simple cursor adapter is an implementation of cursor adapter and if you see the Android documentation uh, this constructor we are using and this constructor takes the following parameters uh, which is the context which is our current activity layout is you know we are defining a layout here which is a android provided layout for a list item view so it's not something we have created we are using it out of the box uh, then you have the cursor which is coming from the database so our cursor is this which we got uh, you know using our method get survey data then you have from which is the column names coming from the database so for example we have this name column from the database and then two two is nothing but you know in this layout file the uh, the items you have defined so in our case we are just populating the name in a text field okay and then flags so flags for demo purpose uh, put it as zero so this is the constructor you use to get a cursor adapter. Another point to note is that if you are using a cursor adapter, you don't need to close the cursor and DB here. Okay, uh, you can do it in the on destroy method because um, see what I didn't mention uh, at the start was a cursor is if a cursor adapter is efficient because it won't get all the data from the database. It only gets the amount of data which needs to be displayed on the screen. So whenever the user scrolls the app, then the cursor adapter will keep on fetching additional data from the database. So this makes it really efficient. So that's why we are not closing it here. I'll check in this code. So take a look and uh, I'll also provide link to this uh, Android documentation. So go ahead, try it out um, and uh, you know explore the world of adapters. Until next time, bye.